Meta out with a brand new AI app. This thing's designed to go head to head with the ChatGPT app and Google Gemini. So I'm gonna show you how to install it on your phone, how to set it up for the first time, and then you gotta stick with me to the end because I'm gonna test it out with basic prompts, image prompts, and even video prompts. You gotta stick around for that. Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and this is pretty cool. Meta releasing a brand new app designed solely to be an AI standalone app. And Meta has had AI already. It's been built into the Messenger app, but they've clearly realized that apps like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and others have become really popular as standalone apps. So Meta is kind of breaking it all apart and putting it into a standalone app. The question is, can it compete with ChatGPT and Google Gemini? So I've got you covered. I'm going to show you how to set it all up and then we're going to put it to the test. Let's jump right into the Google Play Store. You can, of course, go into the App Store on your iPhone. It's going to be the exact same process. And all you want to do is simply search for Meta AI and you'll see in the Play Store, it's the first organic result that pops up. Over half a million people have already downloaded this. I will select install and get this put in my phone. Okay, so now the app is installed. I will select open and jump right into the Meta AI app. And the first thing you notice is two options. You've got get started with Meta AI or set up a device. And that's because this is now the app that also manages your Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. They used to be a separate app and now they've kind of built it all into one app. So I'm going to skip that part because I don't want to set that up right now, but I do want to jump right into get started with Meta AI. And you'll see your Facebook and Instagram accounts. You'll want to pick one of those to use to log into the Meta AI app. I'm going to pick my Facebook account and move forward with that. Okay, that's it guys. I'm logged in. If you already have a Meta account, a Facebook account, an Instagram account on your phone, the process of logging into Meta AI is going to be easy. Of course, if you don't, you can create an account to get in here as well. Once you get on the app, you'll see this is your start screen and it's got the options for us. Teach Meta AI about me so you can kind of explain to it who you are, give it some information so it can better give you personalized responses. Discuss creative ways to use AI. And then you've got a let's have some fun section, a retake, restyle my photo as a graphic novel, for example. So I want to remember that restyle my photo as is, is going to be one of their prompts. You'll also see a discover section down here where this is people sharing the AI creations, mostly images and videos that they've created using uh, Meta AI. And so it's kind of like a social feed for AI prompts, AI pictures, kind of interesting. Street Fighter backgrounds, that's kind of cool. Some 8-bit sort of backgrounds there. Imagine San Francisco photographed by Ansel Adams, that's kind of cool. So this is something you can, you know, doom scroll through if you want. But I want to get right into creating some basic prompts. And let's just start with something really simple like this. Give me a list of recipes for someone who is lactose intolerant. That was quick. That was almost immediate. Breakfast recipes, avocado toast with scrambled eggs, lunch recipes, dinner recipes. Now let's say I asked for more specifics about one of these recipes and see what it does. Give me the specific recipe for the grilled salmon with roasted vegetables that is for lactose intolerant people. All right, so I asked for it and there it is. It's populating that uh, list right there on my screen. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that is so easy to get out of AI and Meta AI certainly doing exactly what we would expect it to do. Now I wanna jump in and ask it about some more current information because sometimes these AI systems don't have current info, although they all seem to be getting better with this every single day. I'm gonna ask it about the Nuggets Clippers game that happened last night. Tell me what happened in the Nuggets game last night. There it is, almost immediately. The Denver Nuggets won their Game 5 matchup against the LA Clippers with a score of 131 to 115. It goes into some detail. Uh, so that's just pulling information, of course, from Bing, as you can see right there, or CBS Sports in this case more specifically. But what if I asked it to kind of think more about what happened last night? Based on last night's game, do you think the Nuggets will win Game 6 of the series? And this is using some more reasoning. Let's see what AI does with this. Interesting, so it says the, the Nuggets seem to have momentum on their side, goes into key factors in influencing the outcome, and then it has the game six details. Very cool, very much what we would expect any AI system to be able to infer from what happened last night in the game, and that's cool to see. All right, let's jump into some image generation, and I'll start by asking Meta AI for some kind of wacky photo. Create an image of a cat wearing a tap hat and a cane in his paw dancing in downtown Denver. <laughs> I don't know, don't ask, but let's see what it can do. 
Okay. I don't know if this is downtown Denver. I mean, it could be any downtown, to be honest with you. But we definitely have a cat dancing with a top hat and a cane. That's kind of cool. All right, let's jump in and now do some image generation if I provide an image to use. And we've seen this with those action figure toys that we've been creating on ChatGPT. I created a whole video about that. Barbie toys, stuffed animals, lots of cool creations that people have done. Let's see what Meta AI can do if I ask it for one of those action toys. Use this image to create an image of an action toy figure in the blister packaging with accessories of a smartphone and a laptop. And the title on the top of the package package says Kirk the superhero. Okay, so it didn't create an image at all. It basically came back describing an image that it would create, but it didn't create an image. Can you use this information to create that image for me? I'm a language model. I don't have the capability to create visual images. How weird is that? Okay, so that didn't work, but let me try that restyle prompt as we talked about before. I'll take this same photo and say, restyle this photo as an 8-bit video game character graphic. Okay, not an 8-bit character, I don't think. I mean, that looks more like a modern day video game character, but you can see it can restyle the photo but it doesn't seem to want to take the photo and turn it into a different image. Something, again, that ChatGPT is doing very well at this point. And uh, yeah, so some limitations there of Meta AI. Let's try modifying that same photo in a way that we might do in a program like Photoshop. Using this image, change the color of the sweatshirt to maroon. Okay, that worked exactly as I wanted it to and did a great job. It took the photo I gave it and it did exactly that. It changed the color of the sweatshirt from blue over to maroon. It removed the graphics. And let me just say this, ChatGPT at this point, and it is very bogged down, is taking four to five minutes to generate a single image. This is coming back to me within like 20 seconds. I mean, I'm editing it for time here in the video, but it's literally taking 20, maybe 25 seconds and boom, the photo's coming back, which I think is pretty impressive. The speed at which Meta AI is creating these images, but maybe that'll change as more people start using it. Okay, finally, I know you guys were waiting for this. I wanna try creating a video to see what exactly it can do with that. And we'll go back to our cat with the top hat and see if we can get him to actually dance. Create a video of a cat wearing a top hat and holding a cane dancing in the streets of downtown Denver, Colorado with the mountains in the background. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. AI can be very ai -y if you will. And we've got some weird stuff going on with the cane. The cat is not actually moving. It's just kind of floating, almost like Matrix style here. But nonetheless, we've got a cat sort of dancing in downtown Denver. We've got mountains in the background. I'm going to give it like a C minus grade on that. I'm, I'm sure you can play with the prompt and refine that more and get it to do more of what you want there. But nonetheless, I think that's a good example of maybe some of the limitations of Meta AI, some of the things you can do with Meta AI. I think we'll see more as this llama language model continues to develop. I want to know what you guys are trying out on Meta AI. Throw a comment in below. I read every single comment. I can't wait to see what you guys are trying, maybe what prompts I should try next. And I would love it if you subscribe to the channel as well. I've got a lot more cool tech videos, demos just like this, cool tech unboxings coming your way. A lot of fun for all those geeks out there like myself. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.